Uh, it's hello <laughs> with with Shell, who's in Aska. Um, and we're the co-directors of NIE, co-artistic directors. Yes. When we remember to write that in our in our signatures, um, yeah. and we uh, yes, yeah, just we we'll just say say just say really briefly something about how we how we operate now. And I'm going to start. Yes. Uh, so so NIE in the UK, we we, we work together for, for we work together all the time, and we work together for many many years. Um, and we've always been to uh, distinct organisations. Uh, when when we became organisations, we started off not as organisations at all, just as a gang of friends. Um, but in the UK, uh, we uh, over time um, we became um, we were incorporated as a company and then as a charity, and we became uh, a company that was funded by. The Arts Council of England under their national portfolio scheme, which core funds some key organisations to make work. So in the UK, we operate out of our office in Cambridge with five members of staff, permanent staff, and most of the artists, all of the artists we work with are freelancers who work with us, many of them over a number of different projects. And we, in the past years gone by, we've collaborated pretty much everything we co-produce together with our partners in Norway. And that's changed over time. So we started to produce some things that were mostly UK focused and some things that were specifically very local and still continuing to uh, collaborate with and co-produce with the with NIE in Norway. And I'd say that that's grown from being 100. That's gone from being 100 percent of what we do to maybe a quarter of what we do. Um, and that's not because we're doing um, less of the stuff we do in Norway. It's because we're doing more of everything else. Um, but that's, that's that's something about where we're at. Here in the UK, I don't know where where you are. If you want to, what you have to say about that show, maybe I got it wrong. Maybe it's not a quarter. No, no, um, I don't know. I mean, what, what we try to do, we try to co-produce a project uh, project every second year. Every Something like that. Uh, and before we did, like you said, we did all uh, uh, all the all the things together. And uh, I mean, the development has been the same in Norway. In Norway, we. Um, we are uh, based in Asker. We uh, we are uh, we have a, uh, funding from the municipality of Asker, and we also have rehearsal space and and an office here in Asker. And uh, over the the last, I mean, our the way we operate, we 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 make work in co-production with Norwegian theatres and also with international theatres, and uh, and then. Do I mean organize a lot of the touring uh, internationally uh, with the pr pr projects that we make together, but also with other projects that we make, not specifically for, for Norway, but more touring projects. And of course, we very often aim to get uh, our work into the cultural rucksack uh, for more than one reason. Of course, because you meet uh, a big young audience inside the cultural rucksack, but it's also uh, a playground where you can develop your work to be very, very sharp and then also then be able to compete in an international uh, world of theatre. What's the, what's the cultural rucksack? The cultural rucksack is a, is a, is a lottery funded... Um... <laughs> your poster is... <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> there. <laughs> well done. <laughs> That's how international collaborations all fail, fall to the ground. Oh no, hunger! Look at that. I think we we'll leave. I think we we'll leave that in. It sort of has a veracity to it, a reality to it. That's the reality of theatre today. We've got cheap blue, cheap blue tack. Yeah. No, the cultural rucksack is a, it's a lottery funded um, uh, uh, touring network that brings art into schools in Norway and it's all kinds of art it's fine arts it's music uh, and it's performing arts and it's also cultural heritage uh, and uh, yeah the, the every pupil in Norway should have uh, five things five uh, cultural artistic things to see in their school or outside their school through the year and that's of course a big market for performing arts and especially for smaller companies like us and if you play 100 shows in that system then by the time you get to the end of that you've got your show should be very sharp and very yeah and really ready to go and interestingly that's actually something also that comes back to the time we started in theater drag because mm -hmm. that's the model they worked in they yeah. would go pouring 
and do 100 performances and then they would have a premiere in the theatre. Yes, yeah, yeah. And yeah. suddenly you know a lot about your show when you've played 100 performances in different places. Yeah, and about yeah. your audiences. Yeah, and um, just say, where, where's Asker? Asker is just outside Oslo. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, I mean, it's, it's closer to the capital than Cambridge is to London. So it's about uh, 20, 19 minutes on the train from Oslo. But um, so it's kind of a suburb. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the reason why we operate from here is, of course, because we're living here. But it's also because we've been cooperating with the municipality for more than 20 years with different pro art projects. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and also uh, over the last years, we had, uh, had a, a big project going on with the asylum centers in the municipality. They're now all closed because all the refugees are held in Turkey. Um, so there's no one coming to Norway anymore. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, there's another story. <laughs> yeah, there um, is. Let's let's do that on another day. We'll make a, a video about uh, we come from far, far away. Yes, we do. Yeah. OK.